Here's a quick example of promotions and the new assembly mass properties management. Uh, this is NX1899 we're looking at here, the first version where this was released. Uh, of course, we've got the mass properties panel turned on here in the assembly navigator. We've got an assembly here with three components right now, okay, three plates here. Uh, inside here, two of those are promoted. These top two are promoted here, okay. So these bodies are in the top level assembly at this point. In the assembly navigator here, we see these three components with their original masses. Uh, the mass total here is this 55.23, right? We've got 13, 17, 23 are the three original masses, okay? Now at this point, nothing's happening in the assembly. There are no promotions happening, No, when well, the promotions are happening, but there are no subsequent operations happening uh, at the assembly level. So if we come down and look in the mass properties panel, of course, our mass uh, here and here should always match, right? We've got our mass, total assembly mass. This is all four components, the top plus the three. And uh, if we use the assembly only button down here, this will tell us that the contribution from the assembly that we're in is zero, right? Nothing, again, no subsequent operations are happening in the assembly level at this point, okay? So uh, with that said, uh, original masses, original sum here, right? And this again, 13, 17, 23, and then this 55.2 is the top level assembly, okay? Now let's go and make the modifications, okay? First of all, we're gonna poke a hole through some of these. And then there's a sketch and extrude, and we're going to cut uh, that corner out of there. So we've removed a big chunk of material out of two of the parts. We've cut a hole there through, it looks like just the top part uh, on that particular one. Okay, so we've removed a bunch of mass at this point from this assembly, from two of those components, the two promoted components. Now, if we look at the assembly navigator now, what we'll see is that the top level assembly is out of date and that's expected. This, this update, mass update is, is a, a manual operation. You can either poke that in the, the toolbar here or down here. Uh, if either one of those, we'll see now that that assembly mass now is 43.1, which is accurate because we've removed a bunch of mass, right? Used to be 55.2. Now it's 43.1. The original masses here are still there. That 13, 17, 23 are still the original masses, right? And that's that's correct. That's the way that's supposed to work. What's happening, of course, is that we've taken three parts that are three original parts that we've not modified, right? Uh, we've not modified the original parts. We've modified them post-assembly. Uh, and in the assembly, we're removing a bunch of mass, right? That mass uh, is reflected if we see the assembly only contribution here. We can see in the assembly only contribution that we've subtracted or removing 12 pounds of mass in this particular assembly. So the assembly contribution is negative. That's why that no number is negative. The top level assembly, of course, the mass roll up here is still 43, right? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, again, if we're removing those operations uh, in there, if we're not doing anything at the top level assembly here, we can update that. We see that original total of 55, which is this 23 and 17 and, and, and 13, uh, plus all the decimals, right? Uh, and, uh, but, if, but if we are doing those assembly level operations, we're cutting that hole, we're, we're cutting away this, this, uh, this pocket on this side, then at the top level assembly there, the, the total mass is going to be less. The original parts as assembled, right, are, are still their original masses, but we're going to remove mass therefore see a negative mass uh, right here at the top level assembly okay that's the philosophy that's what's going on there i uh, hope that uh, hope that's helpful